Alright guys, so welcome to my house. Let's talk about the armor's bench. How do we get armor in this game? Now obviously armor is dropped by certain enemies and you can get lucky, but you still want to be able to make your own armor. This is where you're going to make everything out. Of course you need to have the skills to do so. So if go over to your feats tab, you can use the L2 and R2 to get over to it. You're going to be on the home page tab. I want you to use R1 to go all the way to the shield. You should already have Weaver unlocked, obviously. It's the first thing you do get. But I want you to go right below it. There's something called Armorer. And this will give you access to a lot of cool stuff but you need at least level 10 to be able to make the armor's bench. You need to be level 10 and also have two points available to buy this skill, which shouldn't be too hard at all, and you should be able to do this within the first 30 minutes of your game session. But anyway, you should be able to get the armor's bench, and you'll also be able to get all this access to recipes for light armor, medium armor, and heavy armor, as well as a few other special things in between. So once you've gotten the skill, you're obviously going to want to get your bench. We'll open up using the pad on your controller, the touchpad, and go over manually with the D-pad to the crafting section. I want you to go down to find armorer's bench. See that it requires stone, wood, and twine. The amounts are going to tell you how much of each you need. Because you can get stone, wood, and plant fibers super easy in this game, and I hope by now you already know how to get that. Assuming you do and you have all these things, the only thing you're going to need to do is use this plant fiber and actually transform it into twine. So what you'll do is open the crafting menu again, it should be at the very top, and just craft a bunch of it. It's going to be more useful than fiber is for the most part, but you will still need some fiber for your armor. Assuming you're a super noob and you're just looking ahead and what you need to do. Obviously there's the stone pick and there's the stone hatchet. Stone hatchet's the best thing to use on wood for the most part. The reason why you would use this is to only get wood in branches. Now watch what happens when I use the stone pickaxe. You might get something new that you haven't talked about yet, which is called bark. Bark is useful later on in the game, but twigs is something you're going to need early game and more often than bark. So obviously cut down trees with the stone hatchet most all the time. And if you don't know about plant fiber, just go up to a plant and start pressing square and you'll just start picking up a bunch of plant fiber seeds and insects. And seeds do carry and weigh a lot, so make sure to get rid of those unless you need them early game and pretty much you probably shouldn't. So don't waste your time, but keep the insects. We'll talk about why that is later. And again guys, it only takes three plant fiber to make one twine, so we're going to make two twine real quick for you. And that's as simple as it is, it's almost instant. Super easy. Okay guys, back to the video though armor's bench. So I've got everything I need in here. So press down your touchpad again, go all the way to the right into crafting. Now once you go all the way down to you find the armorer's bench. Once you do, you should have all these icons lit up, so that means you have all the ingredients. When the ingredients look something like this, where they're dark and you can't see it, that means you don't have it in your inventory. So that's an easy key way of seeing it too. So we're going to craft one and you can see it says craft four. That's the maximum of these things I can craft with the materials I have here. Just a nice thing to note. So I'm going to craft one, and you're going to notice it might take a little bit of time. It's not going to take too long. I kind of how this works is I can actually play with this completely, and I can totally rotate and everything else. All you got to do is keep pressing triangle until you get all these different options, and you can make this thing go crazy. So every time you press triangle, you'll be selected with new options, and you can make this thing do tons of things. And this goes for every object in the game for the most part. If you decide you don't want to place it, just press O, and you'll get out of that real easily. Okay, but we already have an armor's bench, guys, so we're going to talk about what we can actually do. I have a bunch of stuff in here that you guys will need. This is everything you'll possibly ever need inside your armor's bench. This is going to cover almost every single thing in the game. But anyway, so we're going to talk about the basics, because the basics is where we're at right now. The first armor that you guys are going to want to make, and I guarantee it's the best armor to make early game, is the light armor. And the light armor looks like this, guys. And it's pretty helpful, to be honest with you, early game, you really do want to start making it. But how do we start doing that? So obviously, you're going to need some ingredients. All of these things need hide. Now, hide can be achieved by killing animals, by killing things in the world. And let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so just kill whatever it is that you're trying to kill. Which, right there, was pretty easy. I thought that was fun. I have to do one more thing to get that hide, though. Switch over to your pickaxe or stone pick, and now start using it to get hide. That's as simple as that. And just make sure to hit the enemy or target or whatever it is. The dead body, you guys get the idea. And it works with animals and humans, or whatever there is in this game. Okay, so assuming you got all the hide and the twine, which we already talked about how to get, all this stuff can be made just using that. And you will also need fiber, too. So let me put all that in there as well. So use some fiber as well. First thing you're going to have to do is say, you want the gauntlets, the light gauntlets, which are the gloves. All you're going to have to do is make two of these light linings, and then you also need a little bit more of hide, and then you'll be able to make one glove, as you guys can clearly see. Okay, so we've got one glove there. We're going to take that out for now. Uh, maybe we'll even equip it real quick. There you go. See, we've got gloves now. 
That's how simple this is. It requires a lot of resources, yes, but it's actually not as bad as it sounds. Now we're going to make the light boots. Well, two and two. And there we go. We're going to make another one right there. You can see the boots are almost done. And there we go. Let's equip those as well. And do we have them on? I know it doesn't look like it, but we do. Hey, look, we can see them there. We've got them. The light chest padding. All we need is one of these, which means we use 20 hide and 5 twine. And then right now, once that's done, we can make a light chest piece just using one of those linings we made and 20 more hide. You guys get the idea. I'm starting to think you might understand this. Now, again, I'm going to put this in my inventory using R2. Every time I'm taking something or putting something in here, I am pressing R2. Okay, and to equip it from my inventory from this screen, I am pressing square over it. And there you go. Now I'm wearing the outfit, okay? But we're missing one more thing, and that's the light wrap and the headgear. But we already have the headgear, but I'm going to show you anyways what it looks like. Anyways, let's make the uh, light helmet, or turban I should say. All we need is one of these, but I made two by mistake. But anyways, one light helmet padding, and then you can make the turban with an extra 10 of hide. So it's pretty simple and straightforward, and then you can get something that looks like this. Hang on, and there you go. That's early game for you right there. That's not bad. That look is pretty darn good. Now, let's get the last thing we need, which is the light wrap. So the light wrap, we're going to have to use the light legging uh, right here, the lining. And we're going to make one of those, and then we're going to actually craft our light wrap. And there we go. And now I can also put that on as well. And there we go. That's our full early game outfit right there. And again, the armor is not too bad. You guys can see that, you know, we get some pretty decent points of protection right there. And it should last you a while early game. It is not too hard to make. And as always, guys, if you did enjoy this video, if it helped you in any way, let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below if you want to see more videos just like this. But until next time, guys, this has been Gamer Today.